Introduction to the unit circle. Today we're going to create a unit circle. It's a handy tool when you're in trigonometry. It's usually one of the first things you do. So you can start to find measures simply by uh, referring to your memory. For example, the cosine of 135 degrees is negative root 2 over 2. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But first we have to construct it. So there's two big things to remember. Unit circle has a radius of one unit and it's on the coordinate plane. Um, we look for all the 30, 45, 60 triangles in each quadrant. So what I'll do is create the first quadrant and we will go from there. So remember this has a radius of 1, so and we're on the xy coordinate plane. So this is the number 1, 0, and this is the number 0, 1. That's right there and right there. Um, we want to find all the triangles, so we are going to do a 45-degree triangle here. And I'm going to draw this in and then erase it, so I don't know if you want to keep that. Um, and if we draw down... And we look at this triangle, we remember our rules for 45, 45, 90 triangle. One, then this would be one over root two, and this would be one over root two. But of course we would actually write, we'd rationalize it and get root two over two. Same thing here. So this distance and this distance, even though it's clearly not scale, are both root 2 over 2, so the coordinates here is root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. I'm going to put that in red so it stands out a little bit better. And I'm about to erase all this, so I might as well erase it now. So that's one of them. Now we'll do the other two together, 60 degrees. Which means that this is 60 degrees, this is 30 degrees. This is one, that's a hypotenuse. Therefore, this is one half, and this is root three over two. And that's a 30, 60, 90, if you recall. 30 degrees is across from what we call the short side. And to get from the hypotenuse there, you divide by two. And 60 degrees is across from what we call the long side. And to get from there, we go root 3 over 2. So, coordinates for 60 degrees are 1 half, that's the x coordinate, and root 3 over 2. I should not have to erase that, so I'll leave it there. Now, last one, 30 degrees. We've already done it. We're taking that 60 degree triangle, and we're just turning it on its side. So what was the x value now becomes the y, what was the y value now becomes the x. So there it is. That is it. Now we're going to start messing with this unit circle all over the place, but those are the critical dimensions that we repeat over and over again. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we'll go back up to that sketch in a second. We need to do the concept of radians. Unit circle illustrates radians perfectly. This is 1, therefore the circumference is 2 times pi times radius. 2 times pi times 1 is 2 pi. And most people say, oh, it's 360 degrees around the unit circle. And they're right in degrees, but degrees are a made-up number. They're not mathematically derived. Why do we use the number 360? The most common understanding is that's what the ancient Babylonians used. It's a nice number. It divides by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 15, and so on. So if your, you know, TI calculator way back there in ancient Babylonia kept, you know, running out of batteries, this would be nice to have so you don't have to do all the math. But the calculator can do it in your head. The problem is it's just made up. Radians 
always have a pie in them, almost always have a pie in them. They don't have to, but we usually write it that way. We know that once around the radians, we just said their circumference is 2 pi. So if it starts at 0, then once around is 2 pi. Half of that would be 180 degrees and also be pi. Half of that again would be 90 degrees and also pi over 2. Half of that again would be 45 degrees and also pi over 4. I'm not going to continue to derive it just in the interest of time, but just so we're clear, 60 degrees would also be pi over 3. 45 we just did pi over 4. 30 would be pi over 2. 90 degrees up here we just said would be pi over 2. This is supposed to be pi over 6, my mistake. And this would be 0 and 2 pi. That is the building blocks of the unit circle. And we need to put it all in. And in my class, you have to do it in 30 minutes or less. The problem is when I write in this an in ink, it's a little tight on space. We need the quadrants. I'm going to go extremely fast. We need the degrees, 0 and 360, 30 degrees. And I don't put the degrees in just out of the interest of time. I'll throw in radians while I'm here, even though a lot of people do that last. And a lot of people have different ways for memorizing them. I just kind of do it. I don't really think about it. I've done it so often. You might notice the numbers 2, 3, 4, 6 popping up often. 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 6 pi, 7 pi over 6, 5 pi over 4, 4 pi over 3, 3 pi over 2, 2, 3, 4, 6 again, 2, 3, 4, 6, one more time, 5 pi over 3, 7 pi over 4, 11 pi over 6, and then last but not least, I'll do these in purple, the coordinates, this is 1 comma 0, 0 comma 1, negative 1 comma 0, 0 comma negative 1, I'm doing all of these first, root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. And now these are all the same except for negatives. I'm going to do the negatives last. This is root 3 over 2, 1 half. Flip it, 1 half. Root 3 over 2, keep it, 1 half. Root 3 over 2, flip it. Root 3 over 2, 1 half. Keep it. Root 3 over 2, 1 half. Flip it. 1 half. Root 3 over 2, keep it. 1 half. Root 3 over 2, flip it. Root 3 over 2, 1 half. Last but not least, the negatives. X is negative here. X and Y are negative here. Just y is negative here. That's a lot to absorb. I would rewatch the video. Practice with lots of unit circles. If you don't have one, print them offline. Blank unit circles. Go to Google and it'll pop up. This is the answer key. You can also say, give me a unit circle online and they'll have lots of them there showing you what to do. Good luck.